name is Sarita Tinsley and this is my story. And I pray by telling my story that it will prevent some other young lady from getting into a lifestyle of prostitution. Hello, um, my name is Sarita Tinsley and I'm currently at Universal Faith Outreach. And I've been given the opportunity to share a little bit about what happened in my past and what contribute to my prostitution and living a lifestyle of drug addiction and everything else. And as I share, I'm believing it's gonna help someone else because I know that I'm not alone. You know, there are other young girls that get caught up or manipulated or whatever the case may be. So I'm gonna go back and share what happened to me as a, as a little girl. I was 15 years old living with a single mom. I had um, three brothers and my mom was working, doing the best she can, but we lived in a project. We didn't have all, all the money that we would want. We were left home a lot. And what happened is I was left to myself. So I wanted the best things of life like anybody else. So there were men that were flirting with me. I didn't know anything. I was only 15 years old, but they would give me dollar here, dollar there, and I would accept it. And, and what happened, it increased from $1 to $5 to $10. And the next thing I knew that I was out there getting money for selling my body. This is a little hard to say. I never went that deep before, but I got caught up in knowing that because I had a nice body and because I wanted good things, it was a way to get it. But it caught me out because as I grew up, what began to happen is that I exchanged my body for money. And the next thing I knew that I was caught out on drugs, I got introduced for drugs, the whole lifestyle. And then I was prostituting, I got strung out, but it started with me being young and older men taking advantage of me and me allowing them to and not saying anything. And the next thing I knew, I was operating in, in a round that messed me up for so many years. And then one day, this is the good part, as I was out there in the project, shooting drugs, getting high, I overheard someone having a rally telling me that Jesus loves you. He gave a testimony of how he was out there in California in gangs and shooting drugs and Jesus changed his life. And Again. because like I said, I came to a place in my life where I was hitting my rock bottom. I got sick and tired of going around that revolving door in and out of jail. You know, I didn't have my kids, thank God for grandmoms, but I got sick and tired. And one day I was up in an abandoned building and I was shooting some drugs and I heard someone say, Jesus changed their life. It caught my attention because I was already sick and tired and I just needed to know that there was hope. So this man gave me hope. I didn't get saved right there, but I never forgot what he said. And when I came to the end of myself, I went into a woman's home and I went into that woman's home thinking I was just gonna spend a couple of nights and get some rest and go back out there. But God had a plan. It was a Holy Ghost arrest. I ended up staying in that woman's home, graduating from that woman's home, getting delivered and set free. And there was a calling upon my life to be a woman's home director. And I thank God because he saved my life. All I wanna do is help others come to know who Christ truly is. And from this day on, I'm going hard for Christ because he died for me and he showed me the love that I never felt before from any human being. So I just wanna thank God for my salvation and any young lady that is out there and older guys will try to manipulate or, or try to pull you in for money. Don't take it because it's gonna lead to a life that you don't wanna go to. God bless, amen. Kingdom greetings. My name is Apostle Marcus Doval, and I'm so excited today we're launching the ministry, Universal Health and Wellness Group. We're so excited about this movement. This ministry is being launched under Universal Faith Outreach Ministry, where we can really be a blessing to the saints, the body of Christ, to really take control of our health and wellness. I believe God has great things in store for us if you're a healthy individual, you're going to have a healthy ministry. And we want to be a blessing to you. So we're so excited with this launching that we're doing today. Many people are joining us in this weight loss 
uh, let's say, platform, this opportunity where we can really take advantage of what God has given us. Because our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So universal faith outreach ministry is embracing universal health and wellness group. I know that was a lot, but trust me when I tell you, this is a great opportunity for us to come together as a community and really share each other's tips with each other to be a blessing one to another. So I'm going to be sharing my testimony and you're going to, and you're going to hear many other testimonies as well. God bless you. Back again. I want to share my testimony with you pertaining to my weight loss journey. So I joined MediLoss about, I would say about four and a half weeks ago. And thank God and glory to God, I lost 20 pounds. My blood pressure went from 140 over 92 to now 120 over 72. Come on, let's bless his wonderful name. So I'm so excited about that because it feels good to lose the weight. And I'm on a journey. I'm exercising. I'm eating healthy. But first and foremost, I'm praying and I'm seeking the face of God. Because I want to be a blessing to you and we should be a blessing to each other. So Universal Health and Wellness Group, we want to be a blessing to you. We want you to join our community. And let's encourage each other. Let's motivate each other and inspire each other. Universal Health and Wellness Group. God bless you and your family.